Welcome back with another video guys. I'm in the garage and there's a reason why I haven't been in it for a while. But today's a good day to be in the garage. As you can see, S2K is still here, ISF is still here. Start off, that last video or the previous video I talked about getting a TSX. That's a joke. That was April Fool's. As you can see I uploaded it on the day of April 1st. So that is a joke. Car still here. It actually is being sold this week unfortunately. You know, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys right now. I'm very sad. But... I had my fun with it. I've talked about it in the past. Can't wait until the buyer comes and pick it up. He's really going to enjoy it. I mean, just look at this thing. Kept it as clean as I can, but I'm going to clean it again before it gets here this week. But today's video isn't about this car. Today's video is about the S2000. If you recall, I had the big ass Voltex wing. Um, I no longer have it because I'm going to be selling it. And uh, so technically I still have it, but I'm going to be selling it. And the first thing I do is take the mounts off. As you can see here, the Voltex uh, mounts. They're pretty much, uh, you know, four screws on both sides or bolts or whatever. So I got to go undo these, um, put them back into the bracket and make sure I don't lose it. Same with that side. What's going to suck is I'm going to have holes. Either plug it somehow, put a piece of tape on it or send it out to my buddy to get it, um, to get it fixed. Uh, he can fill it up, uh, make it look as OEM as possible and repaint it. Another thing, I still got the hard top, which I love, but... I'm probably going to end up selling this hardtop. I had someone message me with a cash offer. Um, but of course, I live in South Florida. I don't trust anybody when it comes to making offers online. So if you're ready for it, come for it. But hopefully this sells. Uh, taking a little bit of a loss on that. But got to take these off. Package up in the, uh, the XB. And we're going to go to my buddy's house. And just get this packaged up and ready to ship. All in all, just like the ISF, the S2000 was really fun. Um, I've enjoyed it and I modded it and it was cool and stuff like that But I just kind of enjoyed the car stock form uh, I didn't feel like doing all that crazy race car modification builds like I did in the past uh, Which wasn't documented on YouTube unfortunately, but back in the day when form was a thing and photo shoots and all that stuff was a thing um, You know you go all out and all that stuff, but I'm getting a little older I'm getting more content and I just want to enjoy the car stock I haven't really driven it as much because I've been daily driving the XB but this car will be driven again I just have to start selling the stuff off the car uh, for the time being to recuperate some money and um, another thing is you know once this car is gone it'll be alright a lot of you guys are gonna miss this car just as much as I do but uh, like I said I had a lot of fun with it and hopefully it goes to a good home and I know it will so you guys will definitely see that car again if you're on Facebook uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be documenting all of his uh, modifications and stuff to it. So I hope you enjoy, buddy. So anyway, let's take this wing mount off. Alright, so I already got close to packaging the uh, mounts and the end plates and the brackets and the, the hardware and all that stuff. So only thing left to do is the wing. So I just put two big pieces of um, bubble wrap on this side for now. Um, as you can see here, authentic Voltex. For those who are wondering... This is how you know if it's authentic. Just have them open up the end plate and you can see the stamp. But got to get the wing completely covered for now. We're going to bring it to my buddy's house. And once I bring it to my buddy's house, we're going to go ahead and start putting more bubble wrap around it. Making a box perfectly for the box, uh, perfect for the wing. And then we're going to go ahead and just package it up and then get it shipped out. I'm also going to bring some styrofoam because it uh, doesn't hurt to have more reinforcements. Just because this thing's expensive. Um, so... Let's get to it and I'll update you guys when I get to my buddy's house. Alright guys, you can see the back of the XB, the wing, completely bubble wrapped. For the most part, just one layer. I'm going to bring some extra cardboard, bringing a ton of foam. And we're going to package it at my buddy Alex's house. But for now, let's talk about my brother's car. He's been rocking these stock wheels for a while. But we're ready to put on the Volks again. Here it is. So these are Z-Spec, same spec as the bronze on my car. Um, we like to run the same size so we don't have to worry about tires and fitment and all that crap. We could just interchange if we wanted to. But these, 9.5, 10.5, 22. Um, he's running the tires that I suggested, which is 275.30 in the rear. As you can see, barely a stretch. And these are Achilles tires. Um, like I said, affordable tires, good for daily driving just for the time being. I'm on some Nankangs as you can see and they they stretch pretty badly which is the nature of that design so same tire size same rim looks way nicer than that so anyway 
gonna go ahead and just test fit this in the rear and we also have the front so we'll talk about that later let's see how they look those aren't it at all? I don't have it really? I don't have it so we can wheel here just get Alright guys, there it is. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna stop recording and finish up the car. So after a long agonizing hour, we finally get the wheels on the car. Reason why we're struggling with the lug nuts. They're super old and they're super rusty, as you can see. The wheels look good on the car though. Um, definitely worth the effort, so let's do a quick walk around. You've seen it before, but like I said, he's got fresh tires on it now. Um, his front fenders are flared, as you can see. So he can fit 9.5, 10.5, or 9.5, 22 with a 245 no problem because of the flared fenders you can see that on the bodywork um, the rear is slightly flared as well but really clean um, he also has a camber kit but it's not super cambered but there's still a 275 30 on there uh, fitting pretty damn nicely to be honest with you I do suggest these tire size for these wheels again very close fitment right there and for the front which is flared as you can see Looking really, really nice. So one more thing I want to talk about um, is these caps. These little black caps that I picked up on Amazon. I watched a YouTuber put these caps on the lugs to hide the rust holes. So let me show you how it looks like on my brother's car. You can see the caps hide the opening on the Project Kicks. And it really cleans up the lug nuts a lot. Um, I think it's a perfect way to get rid of all the rust and just make the car look a lot cleaner from the wheels standpoint. So all you really have to do is just put it there and lightly hammer it in place with a plastic or rubber hammer. Here's another angle from the rear with the lugs protruding out a little bit. Um, it just looks really cool, man. Like, you know, shout out to that YouTuber that, that I saw. I might put his link down there if you want to check it out. But yeah, just buy a bunch of these on Amazon and just slap them on there. Yeah, so now I'm gonna have him test drive the car because I want to see if it rubs at all. Um, these tires are pretty beefy for his setup, so let's check it out. Man, gotta do something about these headlights. Back to rubbing. Alright, so we see a little bit of rubbing in the front, probably from the fender liner. As you can see right there, it's pretty damn close. But, no issues. So yeah, we're working on getting some headlights for his car. I think it would definitely freshen up the car a little bit, make it look more cool again. So although I am selling my car, at least we're going to do some projects on that car. So you'll still see Lexus content um, for his car because I don't think he'll ever get rid of that car anytime soon. For the most part, here are the two beauties, S2000 and, you know, the ISF. And I took that off already, so it feels like crap. Ooh. Oh, it rubs. It definitely rubs. Did it rub? Not rub. Huh? It doesn't rub. Oh, okay. It doesn't rub while rolling, but it rubs just getting in and out. Yeah, that's your bumper right here. Yeah. Damn, you fucked it up already. No, that's that's because Ron pinched the thing, so I had to I had to I had to get it to connect right here. That's the best oh. bet. Before it connected right there, but the thing broke off eventually. I think we can figure out, there's a there's a quick latch thing where you, it's like a little circle, you just press it and it, it disconnects it. Oh, we gotta figure that out. You have out. to drill into the bumper. Oh well, at least it's still holding. Yeah. Nice. 
So the crazy thing is, it corrected my uh, alignment. Your alignment straight now? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, you got in alignment with these wheels anyway, so yeah. putting those other wheels on. It messed up my alignment, yeah. It's gonna mess up the alignment, yeah. So, looking good. There you go, guys. Probably more videos on this car later, if he ever does anything to it. Just, you know. I'm supposed to be actually be going to my buddy's house to package that wing, and it's kind of late. Um, so, I gotta call him right quick, and if we end up going there, then you'll see it in the next video, right now. Well, turns out we're not going to my buddy's house because it's about to rain, it's getting late. So, um, yeah, today's video kind of didn't go as planned. But anyway, um, update, we got the stock wheels off my brother's car. Um, sorry, my phone's coming off. But here it is, the rear stocks. These are some 285-35 tires that I had in it for quite some time. Um, yeah, they just, they gotta come off because we're gonna be putting these 275-30 tires on. Um, it's gonna look good. It's gonna look real clean, and I want it to match all around with stocks for the ISF. Uh, so the wheels are coming off probably tomorrow, uh, which is Wednesday or Thursday. I gotta get a lot of things done to it. I gotta do an oil change while I'm doing the alignment because it makes sense because it's gonna be on the rack. Alignment will be done after the tires are put on. And on top of that, I still gotta do the door panels. You can see it's right behind me hanging. That's gonna all be tomorrow or Thursday and the spark plugs if i can get to the spark plugs i will get them done a lot of people ask me for a video it's not hard to do it's very tedious you just gotta remove the battery you gotta remove all the plastics things are gonna crumble all of that has to come off to do it on top of that you gotta use all the sockets and whatnot and that's that's gonna be a pain in the ass so either i'm gonna do it or i'm not i'm gonna try my best to do it it's just i'm in a time crunch and it's just a lot of things are against me right now and I'm hoping to get it done because I want the buyer to be sure that I did the best that I could for this car to get home safely. He's driving it from here to Georgia. Uh, so that's a good, good eight hour drive. So I'm sure the car will be just fine. It's going to eat a lot of gas, but I'm sure him buying a brand new car, he's not going to dog it and not going to beat on it. Um, so the gas mileage should be fairly, fairly good. Quick look on the car again. Um, as you can see, Vinyl is still nice and shiny. Pretty, pretty cool. So, I uh, just gotta go ahead and remove some stickers like that one. Um, what else I gotta remove? Got a couple back. A couple stickers back here. My Instagram, the Volk Racing for the wheels, and of course, Can't Slam Garage. But, yeah. He's gonna love this car, man. I, I love it, so. It's like... It's like giving away my, uh, you know, giving away my daughter to somebody, getting married to it, if that makes sense, or, alright, whatever. Ending today's video, I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna vlog some more, I need to vlog some more. It's just been very crazy. Um, like I said, stick around for updates. Subscribe if you're first time viewing. What else? Oh, hit the bell if you want to see my videos upload on your notifications right away, so you can be the first to watch it. And leave a comment if you're going to miss this beauty. Uh, leave a comment if you love Volk Racing Wheels. Leave a comment if you love S2000s. Leave a comment if you think you know what I'm getting next. Peace!